What's poppin' everyone? Adma here. So you might have heard of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 that got launched yesterday along with the Redmi Note 9 Pro and Mi 10 Lite. Now, um, the purpose of this video isn't actually to talk about the Redmi Note 9. It's actually to compare the Redmi Note 9's processor to that of the Redmi Note 9 Pro and Pro Max. Now the Pro Max is running a Snapdragon 730G and the Redmi Note 9 is running a new MediaTek chip, the Helio G85. Now both these chips are gaming chips and it's pretty interesting because that means that these phones are mostly targeted towards gamers. For you to be watching this video, I'll assume two things. One, that you're a gamer. And two, you care about your game's performance. So mostly what you care about in the performance of your phone is the CPU and the GPU. You don't care about the ISP, DSP and the rest of them. Because those are the only two things I'll cover in this video. Now, the MediaTek Helio G85 was announced alongside this phone yesterday. That's when I heard of it. And it's pretty interesting in a way because a little while ago, MediaTek launched the MediaTek Helio G80. And now they are launching the G85. And there isn't much of a difference between these two chipsets. I won't get into that. But then, compared to the Snapdragon 730G, I'm going to tell you this. Any phone running the Snapdragon 730G will have higher CPU performance than the Snap... than the... than the Helio G85 while most likely will have lesser GPU performance than the Helio G85 it's sort of a trade-off there okay so let me explain what I mean now the Helio G85 has an octa-core system it has two um, Cortex-A75 cores clocked at 2 gigahertz and then six arm cortex a55 efficiency cores clocked at 1.8 gigahertz that's opposed to the two cortex a76 cores that are clocked at 2.2 gigahertz and then power efficiency clusters with six small arm cortex a55 cores at 1.8 gigahertz now in case you don't know all that i've just said take it like this the mediatek helio g85 is running on some slightly older cores the a76 cores produce slightly more i think about over 30 percent more efficiency and speed than the A75 cores but then those are for the cores on the CPU end these two chips are running on two different fabrication processes the Helio G85 is running on a 12 nanometer process as opposed to 8 nanometer process on the Snapdragon 730G now the 730G is going to be more battery efficient of course while as much as the as much as the workload on the Helio G85 isn't as much I don't think it will be as battery efficient probably they'll be neck and neck when it comes to battery efficiency but we'll have to wait and see when we actually get these phones in hand and actually test them for ourselves now when we move to the GPU aspect things start to look a little bit more interesting now the snapdragon 730g is running an adreno 618 as opposed to the mali g 52 mc2 my god that's a, that's a mouthful okay so i scoured the internet trying to find what 
frequency the Adreno 618 was running at, I couldn't find anything anywhere actually. It was only in Versus.com that I was able to see that it says that the GPU clock speed is 825 megahertz on the Snapdragon 730G as opposed to a thousand megahertz on the Mali G52 MC2. So that means you're going to get slightly better GPU performance out of, well, this is actually in theory. You should get better GPU performance out of any phone running the, the Helio G85. In this case, the Redmi Note 9, as opposed to the Note 9 Pro and Pro Max when it comes to gaming. So looking at it like this, there are two things that come in mind. I've already talked about their fabrication process. The fabrication process determines how power efficient a chip is. And eight nanometer process against 12 nanometer process means that the Snapdragon 730G will be more power efficient. Cortex A76 against A75 when it comes to the main work cores of the CPU, the Snapdragon 730G still takes it there. But then when it comes to GPU, from what I've seen so far, I still cannot really say that I trust these specs. But it seems so that the Helio G85 will take it in the GPU department. And then I also brought up the toss up that because the A75 does lesser work than or rather is a bit slower than the A76. It may not be as efficient, but I think that because of this sort of balance, it's like a sort of balance. So, so the Helio G85 may be able to compete when it comes to battery efficiency. It may be able to compete on the same terms with the Snapdragon 730G, but this is for us to see when we actually get the phones in hand. But then, the final conclusive thing is, it depends on the kind of person you are. Of course, when I made this video, I had only one niche of people in mind, and those are the gamers. And the gamers mostly care about the GPU, because it's the GPU that will allow you to render out some very intense graphics, then the CPU will help to make sure that it doesn't just fall apart as you go forward. Both these chips are powerful. You may not be able to tell the difference between the two, but if you're someone that actually cares about the numbers and you want higher gaming performance, I'll tell you it's better to stick with the G85 if you're on a budget, but if you have the money, go up to the Pro and Pro Max. Well, that's been it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace. Please, allow me to show you something.